after corporate retreats, golf trips, and team building activities. Just search Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Airbnb. I'm behind Lisa on the bridge, and I have jumped off. I am in the river. Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. And welcome into Hog Reaction. Well, folks, the month of September, it was magical 4-0 October It's been spooky season, and it's been pretty hard for the Arkansas Razorbacks to find a W after their third consecutive loss, this time at home in a sold-out Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium uh, homecoming weekend against the Auburn Tigers as your Razorbacks fall 38-23. Drew Barrett, Tommy Kraft here with you for the next hour to two. Going to be here till 5.30 taking your phone calls, your texts, your hog reaction at 877-377-6963. Before we bring in Tommy, do want to let you know that I am out here on location at Randall Ford where there are plenty of new F-150s in stock looking at a bright red one out here that a nice young couple is just checking out. It might be off the lot here soon, but they've got plenty out here. Zero for 72 months financing on these F-150s uh, throughout the weekend. New Super Duties are in stock. Huge pre-owned uh, inventory. Also, this everything that you could possibly want, it's right out here. Also, Broncos are in stock at the uh, fourth oldest Ford store in America, family owned and operated, serving the River Valley since 1908. Well, Tommy, we were watching the game together and there was some highs, but unfortunately there was a lot more lows. Good afternoon. Hey, Jan, it, uh, it's, it's good to, to take in the game with you today. And it, it felt like every time Arkansas got some momentum, either a, a 50-50 call didn't go their way or maybe a call that would be, was more questionable than that did not go their way or Arkansas didn't make the play to sustain the drive and continue momentum. And uh, after a, a great, and as you described it, magical September, now you find yourself coming back to earth with an 0-3 October in the SEC. You've got one game left this month with UAPB. That's not going to heal a lot of wounds from what seemed to be a great start, and it feels kind of – uh, it feels kind of like shades of 15 or 18 years ago when it seemed like Arkansas routinely had great Septembers with non-conference games, maybe a conference win here and there, off to the uh, great start out of the gates, and then would crash back to earth in October. Arkansas has been competitive the last two weeks, but, Drew, at the end of the day, it's about winning, not losing. Yeah, ultimately, the only thing that matters is whether you have more check marks in the left-hand column than in the right, and unfortunately, you've all they've all been in the right here this October yeah. and and ultimately everything that we thought going into this game that was going to play a factor everything that we saw from Auburn in that Georgia matchup and I, I guess that just shows you how great of a team Georgia really is and I know I don't have to tell uh, the natural state that after seeing Georgia just a few weeks ago uh, in that 37 nothing loss to start off this month but everything that we saw Auburn do against Georgia, they did the exact opposite and then started with Bo Nix. I mean, 21-26, 229 yards, two touchdowns, did have that INT there in the second half, but he played absolutely incredible, and and that's the thing, you know, now two weeks in a row playing against some of the top echelon quarterbacks in the SEC, not getting enough pressure, and for the second straight week, not a sack. Yeah, I mean that that you were reading from my notes. It sounded like that. He, <laughs> he played great because a he he had a great game, but Arkansas let him. Arkansas did nothing to menace Bo Nix today. You mentioned no sacks. How about zero quarterback hurries? Three tackles for loss from the Razorback defense today for only four yards. Not having Catalan didn't help, but that wasn't the biggest factor. It was once again you went with four down linemen this week. You thought that would make a difference with pressure. It didn't ultimately, and Arkansas needed Catalan out there to help cover in a secondary where Bo Nix seemingly, seemingly had all day to throw at times, and then when he got on the run, he was deadly. Uh, but uh, 21 of 26, and the one interception he had was just uh, trying to throw that back shoulder fade. It looked just a, a little bit underthrown from from what you could see on TV, but nearly mm-hmm. 300 yards at 292, and uh, Bo Nix was, uh, was clearly comfortable and has a clean jersey when he returns to the Plains. He was clearly comfortable, and, and that's not to say that K.J. Jefferson didn't have, have himself a, a decent day. I mean, mm-hmm. 228, did have two touchdowns, had that semi-Tim Tebow-esque touchdown yeah. that, jump the, you pass. know, kind of a Tebow yeah. fake and then an extra jump there. And you know, <clears throat> the statistics of this game are, are, are a little misleading. You know, Arkansas outrushed Auburn 
by almost 100 yards. They outrushed them by 97 yards today. But it doesn't feel like it. You know, when you look back at that game and it's still very fresh, you go, really? You were able no. to keep Tank Bigsby to only 68? You, you kept Hunt, uh, Jaquel's uh, Hunter to, to 27? It, it, it felt like the running games were a whole lot more evenly matched than they actually were. And, and that just comes from those three and sh- those third and shorts, those, those fourth and shorts. Heck, the big run by Bo Nix to kind of seal it at the end. Yeah, I, I was, you know, we, we were sitting there watching the game. Arkansas scored on the final drive of the second quarter, uh, drew it into 14 to 10. That was a nice, uh, efficient, uh, but, but commanding 12 play, 84 yard drive. They get the ball first in the third quarter. It only takes six plays, 70, uh, 75 yards. They get a 30 yard pass play uh, to Traylon Burks, who makes a great catch in the end zone. Hogs go up 17 14. And you felt, all right. The halftime adjustments uh, regrouped a little bit. And then a couple of punts from Auburn. And I told you that I was screaming at the TV when they let the punt hit the ground and it bounds Mm -hmm. to the Arkansas 11. I thought that was, in hindsight, I thought it was a huge play in the moment. I told you that. In hindsight, it turned out to me to be the biggest play of the ball game because Arkansas is now backed up at the 11-yard line. They go with a one-yard run to, to Rocket Sanders. Then K.J. sacked for six. They Auburn knew what to do. They pinned their ears back and, and brought the heat. They get him for six on second down. It's third and 15. K.J. gets uh, sacked again for a six-yard loss and fumbles in the end zone, and it's covered up, and it's 21-17 at that point. By Auburn, uh, Auburn takes the lead back. And to me, if the ball never hits the ground and, you know, may, maybe lost it in the sun, I, I don't know what happened. But that, that was a huge play, Drew, where Arkansas, instead of having the ball at – would have been around the 20 to 20, 22, 23-yard line, I think it was. They end up with a ball at the 11. And that is what ultimately – now, you could have had a fumble. It could have been covered by Auburn. Uh, but I think that series plays out differently, and Auburn doesn't take all the air out of the balloon with that uh, fumble and recovery in, in the end zone the way it played out. To me, that was the sentinel moment of the ball game that determined the outcome. It really was, and you know who's to say what would have happened if if he catches it. You know, no, I I don't think anybody's going to come on here and say, well, the Razorbacks would have marched down the field and scored. Now they had a lot of momentum, like you said, coming out of the half. You you strike first, you gain, you get your first lead uh, of the game, and then you ultimately stop them. And they, they never recovered from that moment, though. Yeah, I, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll bet you, I'll bet you a hundred dollar bill though that Auburn doesn't get a fumble in the end zone and cover it up for six. <laughs> I bet yeah. you that if they catch that punt, that doesn't happen. I guarantee you that. Yeah, you Ugh. definitely can. I mean, you gave them six free. I mean, you gave them six free points in in, in a SEC game, and heck, any game you, you cannot afford to give out free points. And just the fact of the matter is, couldn't really recover. Then obviously, Bo Nix throws the beautiful dime down the field for I believe a seventy-two yard uh, reception on the first play of the next drive, and, and that was kind of the, the final dagger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, so Arkansas has got to, you know, they'll, they'll break down that punt return. But to me, I, did, do you agree that's where the game – because Arkansas never – they kind of got knocked down to the, to the mat a little bit and never really got their legs back under them after that play, it seemed like. Oh, no, I definitely agree that yeah. that is the case, and it just kind of – and not only did it take the wind out of the players, it took the crowd completely out yep. of the game. And, and that's a, a big factor that you want to continue to play a factor throughout the whole game when you have a sellout, when you have a homecoming type of atmosphere, when you ha- have the raucous type of crowd that we and everybody else knows can be there mm-hmm. on uh, on any Saturday at Donald W. Reynolds yeah. Razorback Stadium. It's It, it definitely was uh, disappointing in that factor. Uh, and before we go to break, do want to tell you all that y'all kill can get all your hog reactions in here. Give us a call or shoot us a text at 877-377-6963. Hog reaction is brought to you by Game Day Lodge, the perfect place for corporate retreats, golf trips, team building activities, 19 beds, over 10 bedrooms, beds up to 28 guests, 9 bathrooms, 17 TVs, pool, poker table, arcades, 2 kitchens, 2 laundry rooms, fire pits, 2 gas grills, cornhole, outdoor basketball, and everything else that you could possibly imagine. It's at Game Day Lodge. 5-minute walk to Table Rock Lake, 10-minute drive to Silver Dollar City, perfect place for all of your vacations for Razorbacks, Chiefs, Cowboys, Cardinals, Rangers, and even some Oklahoma 
or Missouri College football. Great golf courses are in the area. Incredible restaurants around as well. For reservations, uh, contact them at reservations at Lake Lodge, uh, Lodges rent. Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well on Airbnb. And when you're there, ask about Green Gables Lodge too. We are here on Hog Reaction, taking your call, your reaction after the Hogs drop three straight to Auburn, 38-23. We'll be right back right here on ESPN Arkansas and hitthatline.com. You're listening to Hog Reaction live at Randall Ford, presented by Game Day Lodge. Check out our selection and savings today at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. If you're in the market looking for a Dodge Ram, this is a place to shop. If you're looking for Toyota Tundras, how about GMC Sierras or Chevrolet Silverados, pre-owned F-150s? If you're looking for Mustangs, Corvettes, we have a little bit of something for everyone. Stop in and see us, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, or shop us online at RandallFord.com. The Game Day Lodge in Branson is the perfect place for corporate retreats, golf trips, and team building activities. You'll find 10 bedrooms with 19 beds for up to 28 guests, nine bathrooms, 17 TVs, poker table, two kitchens, two laundry rooms, a fire pit, two gas grills, outdoor basketball court, a heated indoor swimming pool nearby, and a 10 minute drive to Silver Dollar City. Not to mention near some of the best golf courses, just search Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Air Airbnb and VRBO. I have so many things that need to be done around the house, like fixing the gate on my fence, painting the front door, and that's just a start. I'm not the best DIY person or even have enough time if I were. Call the experienced crew at Top Notch Roofing and Construction. Well, isn't that... I know what you're going to say, but Top Notch does it all. They service both commercial and residential clients with roofing, siding, windows, gutters, fencing, and remodeling. But they also have a crew that specializes in those honeydew jobs piling up at home. Thanks, man. I'm calling Top Notch Roofing today. Top Notch. Everything from roofing to honeydew. Call them today. Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer opens like every other seltzer. Pours like every other seltzer. But it's not like every other seltzer. USDA certified organic, no added sugar, and low cal. So you've never seen another seltzer quite like it. And with new refreshing flavors like black cherry and watermelon strawberry, you've never tasted one like it either. Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, as real as it tastes. Enjoy responsibly, not a low calorie food. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, IRC Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Late breaking news. Central Hydraulics has teamed up with Wacker Newson to meet your ever growing equipment needs. Wacker Newson offers loaders, excavators, skid steers, telehandlers, and more. Central Hydraulics is also your Gates Hydraulic Hose Center. Stop by today at 6104 Highway 271 South in Fort Smith. Central Hydraulics, helping you move the world. Riley Farm Dental at the entrance to Riley Farms provides every type of dental care and procedures for you and your family. From general dentistry, braces, implants, and cosmetics, Dr. Bo Sparkman and Dr. Brogan give all of their patients better lives with a better smile, more confidence, and a comfortable experience every time. Riley Farm Dental, 5901 Riley Park Drive, Suite A at the entrance to Riley Farms. Call 226-3500 for an appointment or visit RileyFarmDental.com. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? No way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. Ask Ted McAvoy and Van Buren or Jeff Clark in Fort Smith about shelter's home insurance. The temperatures may be cooling down, but at Wheels RV in Northwest Arkansas, the deals are still red hot. Whether you are enjoying one of over 50 state parks or tailgating with your favorite team, Wheels has the right RV to help you enjoy fall in the natural state. And at Wheels RV, every new unit comes with a lifetime warranty. So get out to Wheels and see why they were voted best RV dealership in Northwest Arkansas. Wheels RV, five miles west of exit 72 off I-49 in Springdale. Seek, explore, discover with Wheels RV. There are lots of options. 
options when it comes to maintenance and repair on your vehicle. Choose the right one. Choose Phoenix Avenue Tire. Maintain and extend the life of your vehicle with oil changes, brakes, batteries, radiators, shocks, struts, alignments. They do it all with Phoenix Avenue Tire. Starters, belts and hoses, steering and suspension. Phoenix Avenue Tire will treat your car or truck like the major investment it is. And do it right the first time. Phoenix Avenue Tire, 1701 Phoenix Avenue, right by the tracks. At Frank Row Furniture for the month of October, no sales tax and free delivery. You heard it right, no sales tax and free delivery. Frank Row Furniture offers made in the USA products and service after the sale. Remember, no sales tax and free delivery in October at Frank Row Furniture. Frank Row Furniture, 454 Street, Barling, Arkansas. Best seats in the house. Appliance excluded in sale and delivery must be within a 50 mile range. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to Hog Reaction live at Randall Ford, presented by Game Day Lodge. Option right, KJ cuts back, Jefferson at the five, touchdown Arkansas! What a run by KJ! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. And welcome back into Hog Reaction. Three straight losses for the Hogs as they drop homecoming today, 38-23 to against the Auburn Tigers on the hill. Drew Barrett, Tommy Kraft here with you till about 5.30, taking your calls, your text, 877-377-6963. I'm out here at Randall's for the exact place where you need to be. Nothing takes away the blues of a loss like the joy of buying a new car, and they've got plenty of F-150s, nice red shiny one out here i'm staring at but it might be gone as i see some pen to paper here with a nice lovely couple buying that brand new ford f-150 but don't worry they've got plenty in stock come see uh rocky prude who's been nominated as the best salesman in the area right here at randall's ford serving the river valley since 1908 877-377-6963 going to the phone lines jared and russellville you're up first what's your hog reaction Hey guys, um, Tommy, I think you hit the nail on the head about the the, the block or the punt. Uh, whenever he didn't catch that punt, I was like, "What are you doing?" I was going, I was, I was there at the stadium. I was the only one in the host section, in my host section, yelling, "Why are you?" The only reason you're back there is to catch the punt. I mean, he never, he's not, he's not going to be doing anything. He's not going to do. He's not going to take it back. He's, he's he's incapable of doing that. He's there to catch the football, and that's all he had to do. I don't know if he lost in the sun or yeah. whatever, but. Coach, Coach Pippen said game. after the game he lost it in the sun. I heard, it, yeah. heard Gino Bell talking about that. But uh, it, it's a huge play. Regardless of how it was lost, it cost him, what, another 12 yards of field position somewhere mm-hmm. in that neighborhood? Yeah, 12, you're yeah. you're, you're yeah, never losing the ball in the end zone, I believe, if you don't start at the 11. I mean, if you're starting at the tw- that, that's just not even in, a, a factor. So, I mean, it, it, it was a huge uh, play in the ball game. I agree, and oh, one one thing I don't, I don't know if y'all could notice it. Notice it is, is, there's a couple things that I want to talk about, but I don't know if y'all noticed noticed it um, early in the game. KJ had an opportunity on a first drive and the second drive both to to run on third or on second down a couple times, and it would have been it would have been first down, maybe even a touchdown. Whenever he threw the ball and almost got intercepted by a guy undercrossed a, a Jackson, and it could have been inter- mm. almost got intercepted. He could have scored, I believe, if he'd run on that play, on that play, and then the very next drive. Um, it was actually the next drive. He missed the read. He threw it. To, he threw it to Morris, which he got like a twelve yard, uh, twelve yard gain on it. But if he hit, he hit uh, the exact same play they scored in the second half um, uh, with uh, Burks. If he throws at the Burks on that post, that that route, that route right there, we score there as well. Um, and then one thing that really frustrated me about KJ today was his reads were off all day. Um, he should have saw that blitz coming in the end zone. It was, I mean, they, they brought seven guys on that blitz. He has to get that ball out of his hands. As a, as, as, as a veteran quarterback, as, as, I say veteran quarterback, I know he's a sophomore, he's only first year, but he's the thing that he should have already known that was coming. He should have got that ball out of his hands. And then the one, the, the last thing I want to talk about, and this, Tommy, you can maybe help me with this. I thought if on the field they say that, the, that, that, that their, um, their momentum is stopped, that they can't review that call, How, why, why yeah. were they able to review the call? And then why? And then why did they say it was it was confirmed on the field if they can't review that call? Out? That's another question I have. I, I don't know if that was a rule that's been changed or um, how does that how does that work? And, today? and Jared, I don't know. If, th- thanks, Jared. I don't know if you heard something different in the stadium, but Drew, you and I were watching yeah, on they the didn't TV. Say anything on TV when, when the official 
gave the announcement that the previous play was under review. He never gave a – the ruling on the field is mm -hmm. the runner's momentum was stopped. But it was a booth-initiated review. So, I guess the, the booth was not certain. Now, what, what was clear to me is – when watching the replays and watching it, Lee Hedrick, who was the, the white hat, threw a beanbag, which indicates he has a loose mm -hmm. ball and he is ruling a fumble. But he does not judge forward progress from behind the offense. No. Whether or not there was a whistle, they played replays, that's inconclusive, you, you, at least from the TV broadcast. I can't tell you whether there was or was not a whistle that stopped the play for forward progress. But I can tell you this. I mean, just stop and think about it. If – if the ball carrier has possession of the ball and is picked completely up off the ground and slung backwards, mm -hmm. isn't that by definition? I mean, pretty basic. His forward progress was stopped. Yes. I mean, and there's no way he's going any further if his feet aren't even on the ground. He was picked up and slung backwards by Arkansas's defense. Was it Morgan? I know Morgan was right there at the end of that. You know, so none the, none the, I believe the, the, the call of forward progress being stopped was – probably right but the referee clearly had a beanbag down so he's ruling mm -hmm. ruling a loose ball but on the tv broadcast at least there was never an indication from the referee as to what the ruling on the field was i, I mentioned that to you at the moment then it was three or four minutes later gene sterator comes on and says the same thing guy once, once he gave the initial hey the ruling on the field is confirmed um mm -hmm. he said well, what are we confirming here <laughs> we never and, and he made comment to that as well so i i think there was a communication issue to say the least uh, on whether or not we had forward progress or a fumble, and they they came back and ruled that forward progress was indeed the case, and you can't rule, you cannot review the the forward progress part, Jared. So, hey, thanks for the call. Yeah, I appreciate the phone call, Jared. And and to your points about KJ, it, it and it, it's real easy to to say these things when you're watching on TV you, or you're watching it from the stands. You've got a bird's eye view, and you know you think, why why did he do that? Why didn't he see this? Well. You know, sometimes when you're down there and you're in the moment, you, you can get some tunnel vision, and you, and you can't see the yeah. entire field, and you can't see everything going on around you. And it's what really separates, you know, the really good quarterbacks yeah. from the great quarterbacks that can always keep that vision out there in front. It's part of his growth and development is reading those defenses. New Heisel or Aaron Murray, one of them pointed out at one time, there were six in the box. He had man mm -hmm. coverage. I and mean, they were given some some good analysis on this in particular play, and KJ ran with the ball, and it was pretty well a design run. And but you you know, and their point was, hey, you check on this play because of where the defenders were lined up and six mm. up tight in the box, he would have he would have had an open receiver. And uh, it was just one of those that uh, I think is his growth and development, and Kendall Bryles develops him further. Uh, those are plays and reads that I think he'll he'll get more of them right than wrong moving forward. And today there were a few of those that were pointed out. Yeah, I, I have faith in KJ to continue to develop and continue to get better. 877-377-6963. Before we go to break, Eddie in Clarksville, is the train still rolling down the tracks? Can I still hear the hog whistle? Eddie, go ahead. <clears throat> Good afternoon, gentlemen. Certainly is a disappointing loss for a fan base. Uh, I know a lot of the fan base, as me and my family, had to get up extra early ourselves. But I'll tell you what. Auburn beat us today, but uh, they had some help with the guys wearing the stripes, as they always do. I mean, uh, you take the fumble as a blatant fumble, uh, and they give the ball two years in a row back to Auburn. Uh, I thought that was huge. You touched on it a while ago. You know, we cannot in that circumstance on the end of the, where they score a touchdown, we got to – our play call, it has to be better in certain situations. And that's not happening. Uh, evidently, we're missing catalog. Uh, stay aboard the hog train. I've been aboard it before. I uh, just wish we could have played a little better. All right, but there were some big plays today. The difference in winning and losing is making the plays. And you got to give Auburn credit. you got to give Bo Nix credit. Uh, he hit the plays when he had to, and we didn't. And so, to me, if you look at it on the bright spot, it's not so much the last two teams we face. It's what we're not doing to win ball games. We got to get it corrected. Stay aboard the hog train. Let the whistle blow, and we let's go beat Pine Bluff. Get to five and three, and just see how many we can win down the stretch. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. You know, Eddie, you talk about Catalan being out. There's you can't take a player the quality of Catalan mm -hmm. out of your lineup and off the field and get better. It just that doesn't happen. But 
and, and I hear what you're saying. I thought Slusher, you know, from from what I can see, played okay. But I, I thought the difference decent. the difference was no pressure again. You go with four down linemen, you get no sacks, you get no hurries. You got to go eight spots down on the Arkansas full game defensive stats and the tackle chart to find a defensive lineman. That's John Ridgeway. You know, Hayden Henry, Bumper Pool, Monteric Brown, Slusher, Morgan, Brooks. Blair, they're all a- ahead of the linemen. And, hey, in this kind of uh, of defense, that's not uncommon when you're dropping seven or eight at times. But but you've got to have more hurries. You've got to have pressure. You've got to have somebody menacing the quarterback. You know, and Ridgeway, Nichols, uh, Williams, those guys just did not get to Bo Nicks today. I, I have a hard time laying that at the feet of the absence of, of Catalan or his or that slusher wasn't as I, – I think it comes back to what we've talked about the last two or three weeks, Drew. Just no pressure on the opposing quarterback again today. Yeah, that's ultimately what it really comes down to. And, you know, the reason why Bo Nix seemed to be an oh. ungodly version of Bo Nix today is because he had more pressure than he's had all season long. He, he – you know, we've seen the highlights of him running like a chicken with his head cut off and, and being able to make miraculous plays. He did it at Penn State in, in that narrow loss. He, he did it again. He had a decent play uh, like that against Georgia. But when you give somebody the time to really set their feet, not have to worry about it, you know, you can find those open mans. And, heck, even if Jalen Catalan's in there, if you can't get pressure, you can't ask Jalen Catalan Mm-mm. or any of those other DBs to really hold anybody for <laughs> for seven, eight seconds. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. 21 of 26 today, the one interception. That's 80% completion. I mean, that's going to get you beat most days. It, it will for sure. We'll, when we come back, we'll take more of your texts, your calls, hit up on the main uh, topic that's been brought up to us on our text line before we go to break do want to remind you hog reaction is brought to you by game day lodge the perfect place for corporate retreats golf trips and team building activities 10 bedrooms 19 beds 29 bathrooms 17 tvs five minute walk to table rock lake 10 minutes to silver dollar city great golf courses in the area and the perfect retreat vacation whatever you need perfect place to get away contact him at reservations at lake lodge.net when we come back more of your texts and your calls 877-377-6963 right here on hog reaction on espn arkansas and hit that line.com Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas, making your family's dreams come true. For more than 80 years, Forest Grin Inc. has been building the foundations of the River Valley and beyond. Forest Grin, a destination point for men and women with a drive toward excellence, is now hiring experienced dump truck drivers. CDL Class A or B license with medical card is required. Apply now from any mobile device at ForestGrinInc.com. A heritage company and a premier employer. Forest Grin offers top wages and benefits. Apply today at ForestGrinInc.com. Become part of the Forest Grin legacy. Apply now on any device at ForestGrinInc.com. Forest Incorporated is an equal opportunity employer. The best TV experience in the nation is available locally with personal service from Wild World of Wireless, your neighborhood professional dish authorized retailer. Dish has the Hopper 3, the most advanced DVR, and delivers a premium viewing experience. Tired of running out of DVR space? With the Hopper 3, you can record up to 2,000 hours of your favorite programming and watch your very own favorite channels and DVR recordings anywhere you go on your phone or tablet. Call now, Wild World of Wireless at 877 dish for more details or stop by our location at the corner of Phoenix and Rogers or visit us online at shopwildnow.com. Monthly equipment with fees and other restrictions apply. Recording hours vary. 2,000 hours based on SD programming. Remote viewing requires internet connection and compatible mobile device. Greenwood Collision has been a part of Greenwood since the opening in 2007. Now they invite you in to their new state-of-the-art facility. They offer customers a lifetime warranty and work diligently with all insurance companies to better serve their customers. Greenwood Collision has a color matching system guaranteed an exact color match each and every time. Stop the worrying. Call Chris or Joe today at 996-9922. Greenwood Collision, 2615 West Center in Greenwood. 
Champion Cycling, located at 5500 Massard Road, is a locally owned bike shop in Fort Smith that wants to help you find the joy in cycling that has been a part of their family for years. Their goal is to find the right bike for you, whether it's a road bike, mountain bike, or just a bike for leisure. Champion Cycling is totally stocked and has a large selection of bikes, including brands from Specialized, Pivot, and Look. Whether it's fixing a flat tire or a basic tune-up, their dependable service department is always ready to help. Stop by Champion Cycling today at 5500 Mastered Road and they will help you find your joy in cycling. Links at Chaffee Crossing, located in Fort Smith, has the best barbecue in the River Valley, hands down. Check out Links at Chaffee Crossing's Facebook page for their daily specials and live music schedule. Links at Chaffee Crossing has dine-in or patio dining with a full view of the golf course. Also, stop by their full bar for a cold beer or a cocktail. Need a place to watch the hog games? Links at Chaffee Crossing has that too. Get linked up at Links at Chaffee Crossing, 11707 Custard Boulevard in Fort Smith. The Peter Pender Zone of Wave Rural Connect is open. That fiber internet phone and TV service you've been hearing so much about is now available for areas south of the Arkansas River to Coxville to east of Cecil and over to Roseville with amazingly fast internet starting at $49.95 a month. Call 1-833-4WAVE-RC or go online to signup.waveruralconnect.com to get signed up. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect, changing the communities that we serve. Hi, this is Lindsay White with White Office Machines. For over 90 years, my family's been serving the greater Fort Smith region with the image industry's newest technologies, as well as providing superior customer service through long-term business relationships. As the area's only authorized Kyocera document solutions dealer, White Office Machines provides the best value with high-speed copiers and the latest multifunction printers. Stop by our office in downtown Fort Smith or in Russellville. Follow us on Facebook or go to whiteoffice.com. White Office Machines, since 1929. From the Bushlight Studios, this is ESPN 95.3. Well, this town is a big skin paradise. KERX, Paris, Fort Smith. You're listening to Hog Reaction, live at Randall Ford, presented by Game Day Lodge. Option right, KJ cuts back, Jefferson at the five, touchdown Arkansas! What a run by KJ! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. And welcome back to Hog Reaction. Drew Barrett, Tommy Kraft here with you till about, for about another hour and 15 minutes, going to get to more of your phone calls, your text, the overall uh, topic that's been uh, bumping on our text line. Going to get to that real quick. But before we do, do want to remind you I'm out here at Randall's Ford right here on Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith where the new F-150 trucks, they are in stock. There's plenty of them out here. Nice shiny red one just drove off the lot, but you can definitely get in. If you're not just looking for a truck there's a beautiful bronco sitting out here right behind me in the store that if i can figure out a way to drive it out of here without busting through the glass i, well, I might actually attempt it they got some big wide doors down there at the end of the showroom so uh they'll yeah. open those up for you yeah, don't bust out yeah. the glass so yeah don't want to bust out the glass definitely but out here is definitely the place where you can get uh a brand new f-150 bronco and plenty of other things in stock randall ford the fourth oldest ford store in america and family owned and operated serving the river valley since 1904 go to back to our phone lines 877-377-6963 hayden in dallas he's on the phone and he wants to talk about the defense hayden what's your hog reaction all right gentlemen hope you're doing well today well doing fine um very disappointing loss um you know I can't believe that we really watched Auburn march into Fayetteville and put up 38 points against us. Um, I know a lot of people are complaining about the officiating, and yes, of course, it was horrible, but honestly, at this point, I think that's to be expected. But officiating didn't decide the game today. The fact of the matter is Auburn whipped our tails. And, you know, it's incredible to me to see what was in the beginning of the season, a ferocious, aggressive, warrior-spirited defense that was the talk of the entire country midway through the season seems to have just let go of the rope. I mean, I don't necessarily know what it is that's going on, but there's something that we desperately need to fix. Um, and the second talking point that I had was, um, 
you know, we're leaving points on the board whenever we go for fourth down conversions and we're just not getting them. And I understand there's a certain element of ferocity that you want to go for it. You want to uh, take a risk and see if you can get the most out of it. But we gave up. You know, we put six points on the board today um, off of those failed conversions. And, of course, you have, you know, getting beat on deep balls once again, KJ getting sacked in the end zone, and we basically just gave Auburn a free touchdown at that point. But mm-hmm. bottom line was, all in all, we just we handed it to them today. We're the better football team. We need to play to a better standard, and we just didn't do that. And the defense has got to find a way to – get back on track to being that ferocious fly to the football defense that we all know that they can be. Uh, other than that, you know, we need to get back to work. We need to get this win against Pine Bluff, and hopefully we can finish the season strong. Thank yeah. you, gentlemen. Hayden, thanks for the call. I mean, when you turn it, Hayden. And Arkansas was 0 for 3 on fourth downs. If you uh, weren't keeping track of that, I mean, Drew, essentially, from a field position standpoint, it's the same as a fumble at the snap, mm-hmm. I mean, it's 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 a turnover on downs. They describe it that for a reason. Uh, Arkansas on their 12 drives today got in the end zone three times with a touchdown, one field goal, missed a field goal, only punted three times today and was not held. Uh, the only three and out they had was on the fumble in the end zone. So, uh, pardon me, there was a second one on, on uh, the last punt of the ball game. So, uh, Arkansas, you know, had sustained drives for most of the ball game, other than the fumble in the end zone, which led to immediate points, and then the second to last drive where they were three and out after seven yards. So had the one fumble too that uh, that we discussed. But uh, I, I agree, Hayden. I mean, uh, the defense, uh, the, the bloom is off the rose, or how, what, whatever you want. You know, I think I think there must be some injuries and some guys playing through injuries. They're not as effective. Uh, I don't, you know, and it starts up front. I think there's that. Uh, some guys just playing banged up, and that's part of it. Hit halfway through, I think you're you're hitting UAPB and in a, a bye week at the right time, Drew, with a team that's reeling with three straight losses. Um, you've got to find a way to get back to putting pressure on opposing quarterbacks, and that's been the common denominator the last three weeks. It, it really has, and that was the biggest thing that we saw in the month of September, of where you thought, right. "Wow, this this defense." Why were they winning is, big? Uh, that's why. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were able to get pressure up front and you know you're thinking gosh thank goodness for the transfers uh, up front for the mm-hmm. big man that are able to put pressure oh. and, yeah, we were and coming up with nicknames john like bridgeway we were coming up all these great nicknames <laughs> and we got to get a name for this unit well i mean i think that conversation can be couched for a little while so oh for sure yeah and the thing about it is when you get to this point in the season you're you're beat up you're banged up it is good to know that, hey, before we have to see another team like we saw today, you do get UAPB, and now, you know, not to just go ahead and write that in and put it in Sharpie in the left-hand column, but <laughs> I am because crazy, crazier things have <laughs> well, happened in college football. Well, not since Chad but, Morris left Fayetteville, but uh, exactly. that, if that happens, there's there's a whole other discussion coming. Mm-hmm. So, all right, well then, I'll I'll, I'll do your approach, Tommy. I'll yeah. go ahead and. Knock that into the left-hand column. You get the bye week. This is a perfect time to get healthy, right? You know, put some packages in for Malik Hornsby. Put some things in to get some other guys going and just kind of figure out what you're going to do down the stretch because the last four games of the season are, are going to be tough. You know, there, are, there aren't as many guaranteed wins in there as we thought. You know, obviously – State beating uh, A&M, then A&M beating Alabama. You've got Alabama, LSU. Uh, I haven't seen the final for that today. They, be, they, they, beat, looked, they beat Florida 49-42. So. Exactly. So the remainder of this schedule after you take on <laughs> UAPB, the only other kind of guaranteed win is, is Missouri because, yeah. let's face it, Missouri, they, they not only look bad, they continue to look bad, and they're just – Heck, I don't know who'd win them or Vandy uh, well, at this point. We uh, we will get a Bud Light scoreboard coming up. Uh, Missouri did lose to mm. Texas A&M thirty-five to fourteen. They dropped to zero and three in the SEC and three and four on the year. And we'll check all the the scores coming up. But uh, the great Frank Broyles always said they remember what you do in November, and that's what's going to define this season one way or the other. To borrow his classic phrase, so uh, whether you go one and three, two and two, I mean. No one wants to think about 0-4, and, and I don't think anyone really believes 4-0 and is possible. But, um, you know, the, there's going to be a couple of swing games in there. And can you win one on the road at Baton Rouge? You needed to win today at home, and eight was still in play. Boy, it seems like nine is not a conversation. you no. got to have to fight your way to get to eight wins. And 
Uh, we may have to be satisfied with seven, and it probably takes Florida out of the equation for a bowl for a bowl game if you uh, mm-hmm. if you can only get to seven. Yes, it does. The state and, of Florida is off the table. Still, the ten and four is off the table. Nine and uh, yeah. nine is off the table. Right. But I think I think eight is still, you know, depending on well, how you look coming off. You of got to beat everyone but Bama. And, yeah, it, and it can be done. We've we've seen all the teams in front of you get beat and be beat by teams that you have already beaten. So you do feel a little bit of confidence there and and everything like that. But you know, and you get LSU if, coming if off somehow, of Bama, so. Exactly, and you, everybody knows the Bama hangover is a is a real thing. And and even if you know, you go from the great September that it was of the four and zero start of being in the top ten of being on college game day and on national TV with Fowler and Herbstreit to to somewhat having a slide and finishing seven and five, I think still at the beginning of the season you tell people you're going to beat A and M, you're going to beat Texas. You're going to have a classic shootout with Ole Miss. You're going to come up a, a little bit short. Oh, and by the way, Matt Corral will be in New York this year. I, th- I still think it's a successful season and, and an improvement. I mean, just from where you were with Chad Morris to, to first year with Sam Pittman, three and seven, they're worth those three wins were against SEC teams. But seven and five still is nothing to scoff at. You know, it's, it's not where you yeah. want to be, but it's also a place you haven't been in a while. When you start out with four wins and you are a play away from five and one, I, I think it's fair as fans to adjust and calibrate your expectations. If you have an injury or things or players not turn, turns out to not be able to play at the level you expect going into a season, it's, we quickly adjust our expectations downward. So I think it's, it's well within the rights of a fan to expect more when you, when you know you have more. And the mm-hmm. month of and- September, it seemed like you have more. So it's reasonable for any fan to expect more in the final result. And right now that, that looks a little more, not unattainable, but a little harder to achieve. Mm-hmm. And we get a text from BG in Rogers. And I, I don't know if this is fair to say just yet, saying that honeymoon for Pittman and Odom is over last three weeks have been horrible. Is it fair to say that the honeymoon is over? I think you're a year and a half in. I still think you're you're feeling lovey dovey. You you've had some great wins. There there's no need to to start to really get going with the reality of everything and and kind of start to put pressure on Sam Pittman and Barry Odom going forward. I think they've done enough at this point to continue and, and stretch out that honeymoon period. And and one of the main topics that's been brought up on our text line was the play calling, and it seemed to have been questionable not only just from fans on Twitter and on our text line. But the announcers kind of brought it up throughout the game, especially in that second half of almost wasting a play every first down. Yeah, and, you know, Arkansas is, you know, time to regroup. <laughs> you know, it's t- you, you, you've lost three in a row. You've, you've kind of got, you know, no disrespect to UAPB, but this is set up in the schedule after this tough stretch to be like a two-week bye period. And a lot of your frontline players that are beat up and banged up and recovering – need to spend a lot of time in the training room and a lot less time probably taking contact on the practice field. Get them healthy, and let's see what kind of November run you should make. You should see a lot of names and building depth next week that maybe haven't seen a lot of snaps to this point, uh, particularly on past the first quarter. If you are what you think you are, if you are what you hope to be, which is a top 25 team, and you may fall out of it, I expect Arkansas to probably be out of the top 25. I'd be surprised if they're in it come tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but if you want to play your way, you've got a chance to play your way back in it, you ought to be able to handle UAPB if you're that kind of team uh, with little to no effort from your from your front line guys. We need to see Hornsby a lot. We need to see a lot of the backups on the, at the line of scrimmage and in the secondary. So um, that's the kind of game you've got in your schedule next week. Then you got the bye. you got two weeks to get the guys that you are going to – that are must-play personnel in November – you got two weeks to get them ready to go. I think this team's beat up a little bit, and we're seeing the results of it on the field. We definitely are, and it's perfect timing of the UAPB game and then the bye 
uh, following that before you get into your last four SEC games. Right, Drew Barrett, Tommy Kraft here on Hog Reaction. I'm out here at Randall's Ford as we continue to take your text, your calls, 877-377-6963. do want to remind you, Hog Reaction is brought to you by Game Day Lodge, where they've got every amenity that you could possibly think of for the best corporate retreat, golf trips, and team building activities. 19 beds, two kitchens, two laundry rooms, two gas grills, basketball court, heated indoor swimming pool, sauna, the perfect place to be. And that sauna and that heated indoor swimming pool is heated and open year around. The best place for golf courses in the area, incredible restaurants as well. Perfect vacations for all your Razorback games, your Kansas City Chiefs, Dallas Cowboys, Cardinals games next spring and summer. Just the perfect place for a nice getaway. Contact them at reservations at Lake Lodges. Dot rent. They're on Airbnb, Airbnb, Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. More of your texts and calls here on Hog Reaction when we come back right here on ESPN Arkansas and hit that line.com. You're listening to Hog Reaction live at Randall Ford, presented by Game Day Lodge. Check out our selection and savings today at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. If you're in the market looking for a Dodge Ram, this is a place to shop. If you're looking for Toyota Tundras, how about GMC Sierras or Chevrolet Silverados, pre-owned F-150s? If you're looking for Mustangs, Corvettes, we have a little bit of something for everyone. Stop in and see us, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, or shop us online at RandallFord.com. The Game Day Lodge in Branson is the perfect place for corporate retreats, golf trips, and team building activities. You'll find 10 bedrooms with 19 beds for up to 28 guests, nine bathrooms, 17 TVs, poker table, two kitchens, two laundry rooms, a fire pit, two gas grills, outdoor basketball court, a heated indoor swimming pool nearby, and a 10 minute drive to Silver Dollar City. Not to mention near some of the best golf courses. Just search Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Air Airbnb and VRBO. Greenwood Collision has been a part of Greenwood since the opening in 2007. Now they invite you in to their new state-of-the-art facility. They offer customers a lifetime warranty and work diligently with all insurance companies to better serve their customers. Greenwood Collision has a color matching system, guaranteed an exact color match each and every time. Stop the worrying. Call Chris or Joe today at 996-9922. Greenwood Collision, 2615 West Center in Greenwood. Needing your roof repaired? Ramos Roofing is a local company that has over 25 years of experience specializing in your residential or commercial roofing needs in the Oklahoma area. Ramos Roofing, a company you can trust. Offering discounts to senior citizens, law enforcement, or health care workers and assists in your insurance claims. Ramos Roofing, standing behind their work so you can stand under it. Call 479-420-9903. That's 420-9903. Ramos Roofing, working with you to build a better home. After you call those homes, Make sure to call River Valley Smile Center to give your teeth the attention they deserve. From cosmetic dentistry to orthodontics, implants to sedation, we have everything you need for a brighter, more beautiful smile. Give us a call at 479-646-0706. That's 479-646-0706. But first, call those hogs. Now turn that jukebox up. River Valley Smile Center. Colorworks Paint and Body in Barling offers professional automotive painting, bodywork, and fabrication that is unsurpassed in talent and dedication. Owner Andy Harrod uses the latest in collision repair technology to ensure all damage is addressed, whether it's visible or hidden, and works with all insurance companies. Andy and his crew have the experience and commitment to give you complete trust in the repair of your vehicle, no matter the size of the job. Colorworks is located at 1206 Fort Street in Barling, across from Dollar General, and is on Facebook where you can check out their work. The Arkansas Prostate Cancer Foundation is reaching out to men and their families all across Arkansas. Know your stats. One in nine men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in his lifetime. Stay in the game. All men ages 45 to 75 should see a doctor to consider a screening for prostate cancer. Don't sit on the sideline. Prostate cancer is nearly 100% survivable if caught early. For more information, visit arprostatecancer.org. 
make a wake bait and tackle on Highway 64 between Van Buren and Alma has everything a fisherman needs. Rods, reels, tackle, plastics, all kinds of great baits to catch a wall hanger. Rods starting at $69.95. The biggest selection of plastics in the River Valley. Reaction Innovation. Bobby Garland, Lake Fork, Ugin, and more. And make a wake has Iowa rods and reels, and they repair them too. Make a wake bait and tackle. One mile east of I-540 on Highway 64 between Van Buren and Alma. Make a wake bait and tackle. Looking for a career in trucking? JR's Trucking Company, a family-owned and operated company, has prided itself on being a safe, reliable, and dedicated carrier. Headquartered in Van Buren, Arkansas since 2002, JR's Trucking Company specializes in transporting poultry and produce across the United States. They offer competitive pay and benefits, weekly home time, plus an $8,000 sign-on bonus. Get on the road to success. Contact JR's Trucking Company today at 1-800-428-4033. JR's Trucking Company, a professional team you can count on. There are lots of options when it comes to maintenance and repair on your vehicle. Choose the right one. Choose Phoenix Avenue Tire. Maintain and extend the life of your vehicle with oil changes, brakes, batteries, radiators, shocks, struts, alignments. They do it all with Phoenix Avenue Tire. Starters, belts and hoses, steering and suspension. Phoenix Avenue Tire will treat your car or truck like the major investment it is. And do it right the first time. Phoenix Avenue Tire, 1701 Phoenix Avenue, right by the tracks. From the Bush Light Studios, this is ESPN 95.3, KERX Paris, Fort Smith. Are you sure this is legal? I don't know. It's fun though, isn't it? This is Hog Reaction, live at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Back of the end zone, got a man, touchdown Arkansas, touchdown Arkansas, Warren Thompson. Post-game coverage is presented by Game Day Lodge, the perfect place for corporate retreats, golf trips, and team building activities. Just search Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Airbnb. I'm behind Lisa on the bridge, and I have jumped off. I am in the river. Call or text the program at 877 63. And welcome back, hour number two of Hog Reaction. Drew Barrett, Tommy Kraft here with you for about another hour to, uh, going with you, taking your calls, your texts up to about 5.30 after Arkansas drops their third straight in the month of October to Auburn, 38-23. But I'm out here at Randall Ford, and it's the best place that you need to be. And right now we're joined by Rocky Pruitt, the most Tennessee name of all time as he's wearing his power t-shirt as always as you can always expect to see him up here at Randall Ford. Rocky, well your team's been doing pretty well. Unfortunately for the Hogs last couple of weeks hasn't been uh, as good as we would have hoped but the one thing that can turn any frown upside down is one of these great F-150s. Man, how could it not put a smile on your face? I mean the new technology they've got in these 21s, the new interior, a little bit of exterior updating, zero percent financing mm -hmm. on them i mean it's it's hard to hard to be upset about that oh it definitely is and I, I know this beautiful couple right behind us they've just put pen to paper they're about to pop some champagne of that new great truck and and the one thing i saw the i'm looking at the tailgate and I, i've seen the commercials with uh like the different ways the tailgate works and it dropping <laughs> down but i it, i did seeing it in person today has made it a whole lot more incredible like just like just to take this it's like it's just so great Absolutely, man. I mean, a little tailgate step. It, it'll help a little bit more than you would expect. Um, but, yeah, that, that F-150, it was on the lot. I think it was still wrapped in plastic mm -hmm. when they were signing paperwork on it. We, as soon as they hit the lot, it seems like they're, they're going to new homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really are. And other than F-150s out here, what, what can people expect to come out here and find it at Randall Ford? I know you got the beautiful Bronco right here behind me. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see it. I know I saw a really sweet uh, Mustang GT mm -hmm. out here a couple weeks ago. I'm guessing that's already off the lot because I know cars like that, they sell pretty hot too. They do. They, they go quick. That particular one is gone. I've got one identical to it, though. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I mean, Broncos. I've got a full-size Badlands package Bronco sitting right behind you. Mm -hmm. Other than that, of course, we've got F-150s and other Mustangs and other pickups, Super Duty. 
trees. I mean, we've, we've got a ton of inventory right now. I think we're almost at 250 units on the lot as we speak. Yeah, you talk about 250 units already out here, but y'all have got room for more, don't, don't you? I mean, people want to come in, trade in, or just outright sell. This is the perfect place to do it, right? We've always got room for more. We've, we've been doing a bunch of buy-ins from, from private individuals because auctions are super inflated right now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we've, we've been able to help out customers, and customers help us out by selling us their vehicles. Yeah, and one thing that what's what's one thing that really separates y'all not only just the inventory that y'all have, but I mean just financing, right? Because when I go out, to, I bought a car a few years ago, and ultimately I wasn't here, so I couldn't have done it here at the Great Randall Ford. But that was the craziest thing trying to wrap my mind around financing, and I and I know y'all uh, take that very seriously, and you help explain it to to them very well, right? Absolutely. So we we take the hassle out of it. It's it's super easy for us to walk through with the customer. I've got some of the the world class finance managers here on the lot here to answer any questions. Uh, of course, uh, make it as easy as possible mm -hmm. for the customer. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and and that's the definitely the type of people that you want to deal with, especially in the car business where we're buying a car. It's it's not an everyday situation. It's something that uh, is a big deal, but but y'all make it feel nice, short, and easy, don't you? Absolutely. I mean, that could be the, the second largest purchase of a person's life. Mm -hmm. I mean aside from a house. So, I mean, we're, we're here to make it as painless and as easy as possible for everybody to walk through the door. All right, Rocky. Well, I appreciate you joining me, and I'll, I'll let you do it again. What Do you have a, uh, a prediction on the Tennessee Ole Miss game today? Man, I was really close last week, so I'm going to see if my magic works this week. I've, I've got 35-31 Tennessee. 35-31. Okay. Home. All right. Well, it is over there on that eastern side of my home state of Tennessee. Rocky, I appreciate you joining us, and make sure everybody gets out here to Randall Ford, right? Thanks, brother. Absolutely. Come see us. Hey, I appreciate it. That is Rocky Pruitt, and he's been nominated for as the best salesman in the River Valley as they've been nominated for five uh, best in five categories, including best new uh, cars, best used cars, like I said, best salesman, best body shop, and best service department. Tommy, what else is going on around the SEC in the top 25? All right, let's take a look at our top 25 scoreboard brought to you by Bud Light. There is uh, quite a bit of action in the first wave of games today. Right now, number one Georgia leads Kentucky 14-7. to That game's got 12 minutes and 15 seconds left in the third quarter. And I think Georgia may have just scored again, but there's a flag down. I'll come back to that in just a minute. But right now, as it stands... Uh, Georgia is up a touchdown on Kentucky. Number two, Iowa struggling with Purdue. 8.39 uh -oh. left in the third. It's Purdue 17, Iowa 7, Drew. 17 to 7. Wow. Big 10 football. That, that is not something that anybody would have, would have thought, especially with Iowa coming in and getting that big win over Penn State last week. Third top 25 game underway right now. Number 19, BYU trailing Baylor 17-14. to Here's some finals from earlier today. Number three, Cincinnati waxes Gus Malzahn and UCF 56-21. to Number 10, Michigan State wins narrowly over Indiana 20-15. to This was a big game in the Big 12 at Oklahoma State. Number 12 in the country takes down Texas in Austin for the fifth straight time. 32-24 to the final score. Right now, Oklahoma State in that driver's seat to take on OU and Bedlam later on, perhaps for a Big 12 title at 3-0 and and 6-0 and on the year. Oklahoma State undefeated after beating Texas today. We know that Arkansas lost to Auburn. They'll probably fall out of the poll from their number 17 position. 38-23 the final. We told you earlier LSU needed a win. Felt like Eddie O's back was to the wall. And the Tigers pull it out today at home. 49-42 over 20th ranked Florida. Drew, we had this one on. It was uh, kind of opposite the Arkansas mm -hmm. game today. It was hard to keep a close eye on this. But LSU really had a, a more commanding lead than what the final score indicates. Florida had to come from behind. Florida led 6-0 after the first quarter. LSU scored 21 points in the second quarter to Florida's one touchdown. Then Florida got it rolling with 22 third-quarter points, but it was uh, LSU with 14 in the fourth quarter to win today by a touchdown at home over Florida. Yeah, and that's the crazy thing about the SEC. You, you can't really pin down anybody, I mean, outside of Missouri and Vandy. Every other one of those 12 other teams is, is capable of, and has the possibility of going out there and whipping up on any other opponent. And you talk about the one touchdown that uh, Florida scored in there in the second quarter, and that was on, on a Hail Mary pass. That should have never have been caught. Uh, Ed O and LSU somehow continuing to stay alive for another week because it seems like every week we, we talk to, we talk to all the experts around of, 
All right, is this the final week? And mm-hmm. Ed O scaves it off again. All right, and uh, Texas A&M had Missouri on the schedule at the perfect time following the win over Alabama. Zach Calzada goes 13 of 25 for 148 today. Spiller uh, adds 168 yards on 20 <laughs> carries. I say a Spiller, that's ridiculous. As uh, A&M beats, uh, beats Missouri 35 uh, to 14 today. Still to come tonight, number five, Alabama takes on Mississippi State. Number four, Oklahoma will host TCU. Ole Miss and Tennessee, y'all were talking about that game a moment ago. Huge game for Ole Miss to uh, keep pace with now Auburn, who uh, Auburn's kind of wedged mm-hmm. their way back into the conversation in the SEC West with the win over the Hogs today. They're at two and one. So Ole Miss tonight looking to go to two and one with the win over Tennessee. And uh, other action tonight, NC State, 22nd ranked in the country, takes on Boston College. And number 16, Arizona State will be our late night Pac-12 after dark. Arizona State and Utah tonight. Last night action, uh, just real quick, number nine, Oregon beats California 24 to 17. And number 24, San Diego State 19 to 13. And that is all of your top 25 scoreboard. We'll check the games that are not inside uh, the top 25 of the SEC coming up a little bit later on. And the touchdown we told you a moment ago from Georgia that went under review. The Colin Field stood and Georgia leads Kentucky with 12-13 to go in the third quarter, 21-7. to You got to give props to Bob Stoops. I mean, I haven't had a chance to, to watch the second of that game, but to one to actually score on Georgia and to only be down by 14 this late in the third quarter. Yeah. I mean, Kentucky might be the real deal. Yeah, and they may, even with a loss today, Kentucky looking at their schedule real quick, they've got a good chance to maybe even end up 11 and 1 if you just kind of look what's ahead for them. Mm. Um, because Kentucky, when they get through today uh, with Georgia, they have a bye week. Then they, they play Mississippi State. No reason to believe they can't win that game. They're better than Tennessee. They play them in Lexington. They play Vanderbilt. They, they should roll there. Then they get mm-hmm. New Mexico State and Louisville, which, uh, you know, anything can happen in a rival game like Louisville, but you'd have to believe Kentucky's better. None of those games stand out to you that Kentucky should lose those last five. That would put them even with a loss today at 6-1. and one. They'd have a great chance to go 11-1 and one and probably a New Year's Day 6. So uh, that's, that's what's at stake for Kentucky down the stretch. That's your Bud Light scoreboard. It's brought to you by Bud Light Brewed to be perfect from anywhere. There's fun. Because when there is fun, there's a Bud Light there. Every bottle, can, and draft of Bud Light uses four simple, high-quality ingredients to create a clean, crisp taste. Bud Light, please drink responsibly. 877-377-6963. Going to take more of your calls and your texts on the other side of the break. Before we get to break, do want to remind you that Hog Reaction every week is brought to you by Game Day Lodge, the perfect place for corporate retreats, golf trips, and team building activities in the perfect place for any Razorback Chiefs, Cowboys, Cardinals, Rangers, Missouri, OU, Kansas, Jayhawks even retreat. They've got 19 beds, up to 28 guests, nine bathrooms, 17 TVs. So any game you could possibly want to watch, you can watch while you're at the Game Day Lodge. Contact them at reservations at Lake Lodge Dive Rent, Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and on Airbnb. Uh, as well when we come back more of your texts your calls your hog reaction 877-377-6963 don't go anywhere we'll be right back drew barry tommy craft on espn arkansas and hit that line.com you're listening to hog reaction live at randall ford presented by game day lodge Touchdown! The Game Day Lodge in Branson is the perfect place for corporate retreats, golf trips, and team building activities. You'll find 10 bedrooms with 19 beds for up to 28 guests, 9 bathrooms, 17 TVs, poker table, 2 kitchens, 2 laundry rooms, a fire pit, 2 gas grills, outdoor basketball court, a heated indoor swimming pool nearby, and a 10 minute drive to Silver Dollar City. Not to mention near some of the best golf courses. Just search Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Air- Airbnb and VRBO. Check out our selection and savings today at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. If you're in the market looking for a Dodge Ram, this is a place to shop. If you're looking for Toyota Tundras, how about GMC Sierras or Chevrolet Silverados, pre-owned F-150s? If you're looking for Mustangs, Corvettes, we have a little bit of something for everyone. Stop in and see us, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, or shop us online at RandallFord.com. 
Looking for a fence company that will provide the personal touch to your fence or gating project? Call Dusty's Fence Company at 479-629-4190. Dusty's Fence Company specializes in custom wood design, vinyl fencing, chain link and ornamental iron projects, and they can even stain your fence to complete your project. Family owned and in business for 20 years, you will deal with the same person from start to finish. That's Dusty's Fence Company, 479-629-4190. At Frank Row Furniture for the month of October, no sales tax and free delivery. You heard it right, no sales tax and free delivery. Frank Row Furniture offers made in the USA products and service after the sale. Remember, no sales tax and free delivery in October at Frank Row Furniture. Frank Row Furniture, 454 Street, Barling, Arkansas. Best seats in the house. Appliance excluded in sale and delivery must be within a 50 mile range. Champion Cycling, located at 5500 Massard Road, is a locally owned bike shop in Fort Smith that wants to help you find the joy in cycling that has been a part of their family for years. Their goal is to find the right bike for you, whether it's a road bike, mountain bike, or just a bike for leisure. Champion Cycling is totally stocked and has a large selection of bikes, including brands from Specialized, Pivot, and Look. Whether it's fixing a flat tire or a basic tune-up, their dependable service department is always ready to help. Stop by Champion Cycling today at 5500 Massard Road and they will help you find your joy in cycling. Riley Farm Dental at the entrance to Riley Farms provides every type of dental care and procedures for you and your family. From general dentistry, braces, implants, and cosmetics, Dr. Bo Sparkman and Dr. Brogan give all of their patients better lives with a better smile, more confidence, and a comfortable experience every time. Riley Farm Dental, 5901 Riley Park Drive, Suite A at the entrance to Riley Farms. Call 226-3500 for an appointment or visit RileyFarmDental.com. When you're looking for a lawyer, you want one you can trust, someone you can count on to be there no matter what, someone to have your back when life doesn't. You want someone to call your lawyer. One phone call to the law offices of Andrea Stone Hanna and your problems are solved. 242-5874, that's 242-5874. No one likes divorce, but having the right lawyer makes all the difference in the world. Family law and criminal law, one call. 242-5874, that's 242-5874. The law offices of Andrea Stone Hanna, PLLC, go hogs. Don't drop the ball. Talk to your doctor about prostate health today. A man has a 1 in 7 chance of developing prostate cancer in his lifetime. It's the second leading cause of cancer-related death in Arkansas men. Catch it early. It doesn't have to knock you down. Join the Arkansas Prostate Cancer Foundation and their partners for free health education screenings for men ages 45 to 75. Go to arprostatecancer.org for a calendar of screening events near you. When it comes to prostate health, don't drop the ball. You've trained for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance, all without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. Ask Shelter agents Brandon Zimmerman or Chris Dooley about renter's insurance. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to Hog Reaction live at Randall Ford, presented by Game Day Lodge. Option right, KJ cuts back, Jefferson at the five, touchdown Arkansas! What a run by KJ! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. And welcome back to Hog Reaction. Drew Barry, Tommy Kraft here with you until about 5.30. Taking your text, your calls, 877-377-6963. We want to remind you out here at Randall's Ford, we just talked with Rocky Pruitt about all the great things they got going on here at Randall's Ford, including all the new F-150s in stock and 0% for 72 months financings on those F-150s throughout this weekend. So this is the best place to be to turn that frown of a third straight Arkansas loss into a wonderful brand new 
car, truck, vehicle, smile. And the only place to do it is out here at Randall Ford, the fourth oldest, oldest Ford store in America, serving the River Valley since 1908. 877-377-6963. We do have two, a couple, of, uh, about two open phone lines on the phone if you want to go ahead and get in line and get ready and give us your hog reaction. But we're going to go to the text line, and this one comes in from Austin and Ozark. And this is kind of a sentiment that a lot of people on the on the text line have, have had, and I think maybe a little bit of an overreaction. Tommy, Austin says two things. One, fire the secondary coach. <laughs> and two, we only have two more games until basketball season, which is never a good thing. That I mean, yes, we we're, we're all very high on on Coach Must. You know, the the recruiting is off is off the chain. You know, him going around to fraternity sorority house, getting ready for the red red white game this tomorrow. Yes, it's great. Yeah, but which, let's also still football's not over yet. Well, which secondary coach does he want to fire? There's two because Sam Carter co- coaches the corners and. Your mm-hmm. defensive coordinator in Barry Odom coaches the safety. So, I, you know, I, I'm not sure if he wants to fire them both or one of them, but uh, I, don't think, I don't think that suggestion is probably going to, uh, to carry much traction today. But, uh, you know, I think you got uh, uh, three buckets of fans right now. You got frustrated, mm-hmm. you got disappointed, and you got the ones that are keeping their powder dry and saying, listen, I, you know, November's ahead. You still got the non-conference game. You can still go to a bowl game. Uh, because honestly, uh, you know, at this point, if you can't get to eight quality w- wins and, and maybe a ninth, some of those upper tier bowl games are out of reach. And the way, with the way the SEC does it, they all kind of go into a pot, you know, mm-hmm. after after the the game in Orlando. So, uh, you know, but you want to today was a kind of a, a a second round game in the NCAA tournament, if you will, uh, because Auburn's now got the leg up on you, not only in the Western Division, but in the bowl pecking order. So. Uh, Ole Miss now has a leg up on you in the Western Division in the bowl pecking order. So you keep losing to division opponents, and you're going to find yourself uh, probably not in the destination you want. And it might be the one you want in Memphis, but it's not going to be the one I think a lot of fans want. <laughs> well, I was about to say, I mean, Memphis, Tennessee is not a bad place well, to be December 28th of 2021 for me. And I think for a lot of Razorback fans, it wouldn't be dis- – it, it wouldn't be that bad. Well, the Music City Bowl wouldn't be too bad. Heck, even Birmingham, and trust me, there's nobody that hates Legion Field more on this planet than me. Somebody who's had a rat run across my foot in the bathroom multiple times. I, I think that place needs to be torn down. I Luckily, I think they're playing it at the new UAB Stadium this year, so you don't really have to worry about that. But let's not undersell what it really does mean to go to a bowl. And it's been a minute since... The Razorbacks have ever been to one. Yes, you're supposed to go last year, but it wasn't the same. I mean, three and seven, you just kind of needed teams that could fill those slots due to COVID and, and outbreaks among other teams. You legitimately earned a bowl slot this year. You get to that seven and five mark, you legitimately can say this was a bowl season, and you have to start somewhere. You know, yeah. you don't. Nobody gets to start at the top of the mountain. Yeah. I think even here in year two, you're starting halfway up where, you know, yes, going to Memphis, going to Nashville, Birmingham, uh, is, isn't, might not, heck, you might even, somebody's got to go to Vegas. I don't know uh, how Vegas many on the list fans want to. That rotates in. It's not, we were looking at that the other day, it's not on the list this year, but that's, okay. that, that is one that the SEC has a tie-in and alternating years, so. Uh, down, okay, the, so. down the road. so Okay, don't have to really worry about I'm ready about... to go today. I, I, I can go <laughs> scout it out for, for everybody. Another text okay. from the 479 that says, another big play was when uh, Devion Warren dropped the 15-yard pass. That would have been a first down. Absolutely. Got in a hurry yes. to make the move. The ball went out of bounds. Two plays later, Auburn stops the Hogs on fourth, and they immediately throw a touchdown pass. Uh, yes, that, that was a big play. Then he goes on to say, what good does it do to send your text? You hadn't read it yet. Well, give us, give us time. We well, got give to your us text. Time, man. And give us your name so we can give you credit for your point. But, yes, there were a couple of big plays in the game. I thought that was uh, – I, I started out in the show, if you've been with us from the get-go, you heard my thoughts on, on the punt that hit the ground and then rolls to the Arkansas 11 that ultimately led to the fumble in the end zone by K.J. Jefferson after what will be recorded as two sacks – and Auburn covers it for the touchdown, and that turned the tide in the game, and Arkansas never got momentum back. That was another big play where Arkansas could have sustained a drive, kept Auburn's momentum going. That that was a big play, and, and Warren, who was wide open, looked like uh, he was trying to turn back into the field and up the field before he secured the possession, and the ball goes off his shoulder pads and out of bounds, Drew. 
Yeah, it was. It, it's just that that was the thing of, of today's game was there were positives that you could take away. You, you take away that, that nice Tim Tebow-esque like touchdown pass by, by KJ. You take away the other touchdown pass by, by KJ. You take away – a few of the stops on defense. They, we're, we're talking about how bad the defense played. They did come up big. I mean, the fumble call that was that that didn't get called. That was on a big third down play. That was on a big third and one play where where Auburn had a lot of momentum leading up to that game. So there were positives. But you're right. Just it seems like every time you started to get something going, something stopped it dead in, in its tracks. And uh, I guess in NEA from uh, the 870 uh, area code, he brings up a, a somewhat of a thought uh, about Sanders at wide receiver and giving his carries to Smith, uh, Johnson, a- and Green. And ultimately, we, we talked about it during the game. I think Sanders would be good at a slot, but to talk about another r- r- running back, Traylon Smith, it was not his day today. It, he just couldn't, nope. it, it didn't seem like he could get anything going. No, and, and we were talking about the – and I don't know if he's beat up a little bit or just couldn't find uh, couldn't find the groove today. But, yeah, no question that uh, uh, Traylon Smith, was, you know, you just look, he just had the one carry. I mean, so I guess – I mean, pardon me, hang on. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Hang on. He had uh, 10 carries for uh, 48 yeah. yards today. So, uh, but, you know, Rocket Sanders was, was far more effective. 16 carries, 64 yards. But K.J. Jefferson, I know he's the quarterback, but he's essentially just another running back for you, has uh, the most uh, rushing attempts, 18 of them for 66 yards. But Traylon Smith did not – you're right, he did not seem him, himself today. And I'd like to see more of A.J. No, Green. A.J. Green only got four carries in the ball game. Dominique Sanders in the six carries he had averaged seven yards a carry. Uh, I thought they were maybe saving Johnson and Green for maybe fourth quarter for some fresher bodies and fresher legs in there, but uh, – those two guys just combined for, for 10 carries between the two of them, but have uh, 54 yards together. Yeah, you would like to see more uh, carries for A.J. Green just due to the fact of, of his speed, that that all-American track speed that he possesses. You would like to see that utilized uh, a little more. And, mm-hmm. and ultimately, is, is you got to get the, the is, ground game going. Is Rocket Sanders taking over as the number one back? We've seen him be more effective the last few weeks. I, I truly think he is. I think he is not only in my eyes, but most of the fan bases and most people watching these games. It just it feels like there's just something extra there with Rocket Sanders. And not to take anything away from Traylon Smith because he is a great running back. But you saw in a lot of plays, even when Rocket did get stood up at the front uh, at the line of scrimmage, he kept his feet churning. And, and that's the sign uh, of a great running back, of somebody who can take the contact and keep the feet going and ultimately fall forward for a few extra yards. It just feels like – and once again, not to dig at Traylon, but it just feels like every yard Rocket Sanders just wants more. Like he he has to have that extra yard. He has to have that extra that extra little <laughs> umph in there. And I think that's what has somewhat has separated him from the other three backs. Yeah. Uh, text from the four seven nine says uh, doesn't know what we got into today, but thought Traylon Smith was just fine on the ten carries that he had for forty eight yards. I mean he's four point eight yards. I he's just not it's not bad, but it's not what we expect. But it, it looks I think our point here in the in the uh the conversation is Rocket Sanders seems to be more effective. And his average carry wasn't as much at four, but I, I don't know. He just didn't seem to, when you needed him on some big plays, it just didn't seem there. Maybe maybe we're wrong. Maybe maybe my judgment and memory of it's wrong, but it seemed like Rocket Sanders is I know the number doesn't doesn't bear that out on average yards per carry, but it seems like Rockets just bringing a little more to the table right now. Maybe a couple of weeks of rest, and Traylon's back to to the way he was at the beginning of the year. And you obviously hope that that is the case. And if we if he is somewhat banged up that we don't know about, if, and we don't see him at UAPB, that's perfectly fine. Let's get him those two weeks of rest that. that hopefully he could use and need to get him uh, playing the type of football that we know and think that he can. Text out of the, from Dustin in Mansfield. Not going to read the whole thing, just the, the end of it, and it's time to bring it up. The pass interference call, was was that Which one? the there most were, ticky-tacky there were, call of the well, day? Well, there were two. 
There were two. I'm, guess, I, I'm guessing he's talking about the ball about the, that couldn't be caught. Okay, the, if you're talking, yeah, I thought the, the one ball, out of bounds. The ball was uncatchable. Uh, that, I don't think there's any question whether the ball was thrown high, and you can just look to where, a where it landed, but b how high over the head of the defender and the wide receiver on the play that it was. So I agree with that. Um, from an officiating standpoint, the, I don't know if it was the field judge or the side judge. They swapped sides in the second half. Um, mm. I don't know. I don't know which position was over there at that moment. But the point being, you've got to have help on that play because you you are so close to it at that point, judging that play and looking for the contact who creates it. And if the contact breaks the threshold to draw a flag, that you you're not judging the location of the ball. That's where once the ball goes in the air, the other officials in the secondary maybe could lend some help on how high that ball was perhaps over the head. I'd, I'd agree that ball was uncatchable in that particular uh, play, no question. Well, in a situation like that where you don't have somebody helping him, would it be better for that to be to be a no call or at least get – that there didn't even seem to be any conversation around it. Shouldn't somebody have – you know, kind of run over there and be like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did did you see where the ball placement was?" That's, that's what just, I'm saying. That, or that, as as a chief, uh, but as a chief crew, do you just kind of trust him? Because it well, felt maybe, like he's just like, "Okay, crew, well, yeah, hang let's on. do it." Everybody puts too much stock in the white hat. The the white hat's back there mm -hmm. working one position, just like the other seven guys on the field. Just because you have a different color hat and you make the announcement doesn't mean you're looking at every angle on every play on the field. So that's where you got to work as a team in that back half of the. Uh, the, the field judge, the side judge, and the uh, and the field side and back judge all have to work together on plays like that. So could could he have gotten help? Absolutely, but that's not one where the referee's coming down to make. He's not even looking down there. He's watching the quarterback and what's going on in the offensive backfield. So I think we all get caught up in that. I agree that that should not have been a flag. He needed some help and come over and uh, that was one of I thought several questionable plays in in the game today. Mm -hmm. And we get another co contact on that, or a text on that from Wyatt uh, in P Ridge. Other than being uncatchable, there was also no contact. It, there might have been a little hand guarding, but it just didn't feel to be uh, enough for, for me and I think for most people. 877-377-6963. I don't think we've touched on the two-point conversion play. And when me and you were sitting there, it was the exact play that, that we – both agreed on that you would want. You have man-to-man -man coverage with with Traylon Burks out there on an island by himself. That quick little slant in ultimately didn't get it done. We get a um, text out of the four seven nine saying that Burks was being tackled before ball before the no. ball got there on the two point no. conversion. I think it was just a great play by the Auburn defense. It's a bang bang play. I, I I can't get on board with that. I I'll get on board with a few of these other ones, but. You, you got to understand, every 50-50 call is not going to go your way. It did in the A&M game, and not one of you, not one dadgum one of you called and complained <laughs> about officiating that A&M game where A&M got no breaks. You know, you're not going to get every 50-50 call. And I thought the play on the end zone with Burks, that's a bang-bang play. Um, you know, that one's just not one you can really cry a lot about. So, Yeah. Nobody ever calls or texts in uh, no. saying, hey, those refs did a great job today. No. <laughs> I don't know if but, the I mean, fans that, have ever remember seen that a good game? game. a and didn't get one break in that game. Arkansas got every one of them. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, we're, you know, but it was, I thought it, it, it was not the best day in the world for the guys in stripes on a few, on a few different calls. And, um, you know, it, it, but, but that's football. Do I think that was the deciding factor in the game today? Absolutely not. Mm. Yeah, I've said it multiple times. Uh, there's always in sport one of the I think one of the best things about sport is is the factor of human error that you sometimes have joy from things not being called right and the other times it's it's ultimate sadness when things go the wrong way and that's one of the great things about sports in my opinion eight seven seven you only want you only want perfection when it benefits your team Drew that's the only time you want, exactly. want perfection. <laughs> That is exactly right. 877-377-6963. More of your texts and your calls on the other side. I do want to remind you that Game Day Lodge is a – or ha Hog Reaction, my bad, is, of course, brought to you by Game Day Lodge, the perfect place for corporate retreats, golf trips, and team-building activities, beds for up to 29 guests, 17 TVs, pool, poker table, arcade, kitchen, two kitchens, two laundry rooms, and two gas grills got every amenity that you could possibly want. Perfect place for all your Razorback uh, 
vacations and the perfect place, of course, golf trips and team building activities. You can contact them at reservations at lakelodges.rent. They're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Airbnb. Also ask about Green Gables Lodge as well. Like I said, more of your texts and calls than your hog reaction. On the other side, Drew Barrett, Tommy Kraft here with you for about another 25 minutes. So don't go anywhere right here on ESPN Arkansas and hit that line.com. You're listening to Hog Reaction live at Randall Ford, presented by Game Day Lodge. Touchdown! Oh my! Check out our selection and savings today at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. If you're in the market looking for a Dodge Ram, this is a place to shop. If you're looking for Toyota Tundras, how about GMC Sierras or Chevrolet Silverados, pre-owned F-150s? If you're looking for Mustangs, Corvettes, we have a little bit of something for everyone. Stop in and see us. 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith or shop us online at RandallFord.com. The Game Day Lodge in Branson is the perfect place for corporate retreats, golf trips, and team building activities. You'll find 10 bedrooms with 19 beds for up to 28 guests, 9 bathrooms, 17 TVs, poker table, 2 kitchens, 2 laundry rooms, a fire pit, 2 gas grills, outdoor basketball court, a heated indoor swimming pool nearby, and a 10 minute drive to Silver Dollar City. Not to mention near some of the best golf courses, just search Game Day Lodge on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Air Airbnb and VRBO. Are you in need of roofing repairs or maybe more? Construction Master Roofing, who has been under new management since 2019 with over 25 years of experience, is who you need to call. Estimates are free, and military, first responders, and medical workers receive 5% off. Construction Master Roofing guarantees their work, and the number you need to call is 648-8888 in the River Valley, and in Oklahoma, call 918-859-4714. Construction Master Roofing, the roofing company that cares and gets the job done. After you call those hogs, make sure to call River Valley Smile Center to give your teeth the attention they deserve. From cosmetic dentistry to orthodontics, implants to sedation, we have everything you need for a brighter, more beautiful smile. Give us a call at 479-646-0706. That's 479-646-0706. But first, call those hogs. Now turn that jukebox up. River Valley Smile Center. Old Hog Cafe on Phoenix Avenue is now open 11 till late Monday through Saturday. Old Hog Cafe has party packs for your watch party, tailgate party, business meetings, or lunch and dinner for the family. You will see a few new items on the menu to go along with the award-winning barbecue and sides. Old Hog Cafe, Phoenix Avenue, offers online ordering at wholehogfortsmith.com, along with curbside and delivery service. Or come see us 11 till 8, Monday through Saturday. Follow Whole Hog Cafe on Facebook and Instagram for specials. Reduce your home energy bills while increasing your comfort. AOG and OG&E are offering a weatherization program that provides free home energy efficiency upgrades to current customers in Arkansas. If your home is at least 10 years old, it may qualify for these upgrades, which include attic insulation, caulking, air sealing, weather stripping, and LED lighting. To find out how you can benefit from these free home weatherization improvements, contact 844-413-3065 or visit AOGC.com. Links at Chaffee Crossing, located in Fort Smith, has the best barbecue in the River Valley, hands down. Check out Links at Chaffee Crossing's Facebook page for their daily specials and live music schedule. Links at Chaffee Crossing has dine-in or patio dining with a full view of the golf course. Also, stop by their full bar for a cold beer or a cocktail. Need a place to watch the hog games? Links at Chaffee Crossing has that too. Get linked up at Links at Chaffee Crossing, 11707 Custard Boulevard in Fort Smith. Laws Drugstore in Fort Smith has COVID vaccinations available today for you and your family. Laws Drugstore has the Pfizer vaccine for ages 12 and up. The vaccine is safe and effective in preventing severe cases of COVID. Just call 452-6116 to schedule your appointment or stop by Laws Drugstore at 6802 Rogers Avenue behind Outback Steakhouse. Laws Drugstore, open six days a week to safely care for you and your family. Call them now, 452-6116. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. Ask Shelter agents Brandon Zimmerman or Chris Dooley about renter's insurance. 
Messy leaks, stopped up toilets and sinks, all of these can be a nightmare. This is Emily with Mr. Rooter Plumbing in Fort Smith. Did you know that when you call Mr. Rooter, you get real-time tracking so you know exactly when to expect us? We know you're busy, so we send a reminder, so scheduling with us is convenient. When you need plumbing, call Mr. Rooter in Fort Smith or book online at mrrooter.com. We're your neighborly company. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to Hog Reaction live at Randall Ford, presented by Game Day Lodge. Option right, KJ cuts back, Jefferson at the five, touchdown Arkansas! What a run by KJ! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. And welcome back. Last segment of Hog Reaction as I am Drew Barrett, Tommy Kraft. He's waiting on your phone calls. We still got some time uh, to get in more of your calls and your texts here on Hog Reaction. I'm out here at ga- at uh, Randall Ford. Sorry, I had the wrong ring pulled up in front of me. New F-150s are in stock 0% for 75 months financing out here at Randall Ford for those F-150s. And you're not only going to see – uh, those F-150s are going to see all the great brand new uh, Ford Broncos in stock. Nice, beautiful yellow one sitting here right behind me. See a gray one out there. I'm also staring at a beautiful brand new Ford Mustang GT. Got to get out of here. Got to turn that frown upside down with a brand new vehicle from Randall Ford, fourth oldest Ford store in America, serving the River Valley since 1908, 877 Three seven seven sixty nine sixty three. Uh, one text we just received from Kyle in Greenwood. He says he, uh, and I think this is a lot of fans' reaction after after a loss. Quit trying to be rational, guys. We want to be irrational <laughs> right now! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! And and ultimately, you know, sometimes I get it. I get it. You you just want to complain. You don't want to. And when you want to complain, you don't want to hear people bring logic into the fact. You don't want to uh, hear the rationale. You, you just want to stew. And and I get that. I get that as, as a fan. I, I'm I'm a lifelong sports fan. I've I have teams that drive me absolutely up the wall, just like I'm sure these Razorbacks do to a lot of people out there. I get it. I, that's why I got in this business is because I am a fan and I enjoy talking about this stuff. But ultimately, you got to take a step back and realize, hey. The the sun is still shining. The, the, there are still oh. good things going on in in the oh. game. There's plenty of great things to take away. Oh, God. You, we can do better than the sun. Is, is it still going to rise in the east tomorrow too for it us? Will. The, it will. It oh, will. The sun will come up I'm tomorrow. I'm not sure. I, you know, I'm not <laughs> sure if it's going to after this one today. No, we've, we've had darker days as Razorback fans. Yes. In the last few years. I mean, and I won't go through the resume of of bad losses, but Auburn today is not on that resume of bad losses. Greg texted in a great point that he he has some sympathy for Sam Pittman because he worked so hard to get the crown there today. What was it? Seventy three thousand plus in attendance uh, that was that was there today. Seventy three thousand three seventy. The official attendance number. I, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, coach. And the administration, even Eric Musselman, all worked and chipped in and pulled together to get a great 11 a.m. crowd there today. I think there was a a, a traffic snarl on I-49 that delayed some fans at the beginning of the ball game. It probably wasn't what you wanted. I was reading text about uh, issues at the gates and the the scanners not working. Oh, the people those not darn being, scanners! Oh, I'm telling you, they're the worst. They're the worst. Can but, we just go back to click counting and and ripping <laughs> off tickets? I mean, you know what? A little fraud of people getting in for free is never going to hurt anybody. But hey, no. in the end, and then we can lie about the attendance and say it was the largest exactly. crowd we ever had. But you know, in the end, the fans showed up because they believe in this program. I think a win over UPB and and a bye week and two weeks to kind of lick your wounds a little bit from 0-3, and you got an extra week to do that, uh, and you're going to be a win away from bowl eligibility at that point, I think people will, by then, right now it doesn't seem like you can beat Mississippi State. By then you'll have yourself talked into it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I just think it was a missed opportunity again today for the Razorbacks. They weren't as close as obviously they were against Ole Miss, and this one's going to cost you. I mean, now you've got two teams ahead of you in, in the bowl pecking order out of the West. You fall to the bottom of the SEC West with your record at this point. So, no, th- this one was a critical loss for Sam Pittman and his program. You got time to still bounce back. You could 
You could ultimately, I don't believe 4-0 is going to be on the table for you to get uh, that kind of finish in November. But I think the best you could hope for is 3-1, and one, and that seems like a stretch. But mm. if, at 4-3, and three, you're going to get a win over UAPB. I'm going to go ahead and chalk that one up. You'll be 5-3 and three headed into the final month. You know, I think eight wins is still very, very reasonable uh, 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 of a goal to achieve. Is that Should that be the expectation? Well, we'll have that discussion later on. But, Drew, I think eight wins is not off the table at this point. I would take nine, though, and put it away in the closet somewhere. Yeah, I would go ahead and, and hang up that dream and uh, put it up on a shelf and reach down for it uh, next July when we get ready for the 2022 season. But eight is still very manageable, and it's very um, – it's a very realistic goal. It can still definitely happen, and I, I can't seem to find the text uh, right now, but we had a text, or text in earlier talking about uh, super hangover from that Georgia game, and I, I think not only just from what happened against Georgia, I also think when you play a shootout like you did against Ole Miss, that that could ultimately ha- have played a factor that, you know, not to – you know, bring in terminology from uh, a different sport, but you hear it all the time, especially at a, at a KOMX with, with the Cardinals. The the Cardinals left their left their bats in Pittsburgh or or, or anywhere else, and when they, when they come back home, they can't seem to to make decent contact. Do you feel like the, the Arkansas might might have left something in Oxford with that high powered shootout when you put up fifty one points? I think Arkansas is just banged up. I think they've got some players playing through. You know, just football type stuff that that when you get to this point in the year and you're what four and two or four and three played seven games now at this point I think they're just beat up they need a couple of weeks to get their bodies right and you're missing Catalan you got players you know like Ty Clary that have played how many positions has he played across that Mm -hmm. offensive line at this point so I think there's a few things and that are critical Uh, and you know from from talking to some folks uh, Thursday and Friday I I don't think Catalan's going to be back anytime soon if at all so I, I think this issue is, 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 from what I'm told, is more than just a hand issue. Uh, he's got a shoulder problem that comes out of that Ole Miss game. So I'm not sure if he's going to be back uh, to help you at the front end of November, and I don't expect to see him the next couple of weeks. Maybe maybe things will turn around uh, over those next two weeks, but, but I'm not real hopeful for that. Mm-hmm. So you got a couple of weeks to coach some guys up. The bottom line is, what's the difference? Defense is the difference. You know, I think KJ's mm-hmm. improved. I think this offense has improved. I mean, the numbers bear that out. Drew, I think the difference is you got a defense that stepped into the SEC, not playing a Big 12 soft offensive line with Texas, and now you got to play against the big boys. And the big boys have a game plan on how to stop Ridgeway and Williams and Williams and Utsi, and Utsi didn't play. You know, And Arkansas mm. is not putting the pressure on. No sacks today, no quarterback hurries today, handful of tackles for loss. You know, that's the difference in this defense right now. So you want to talk about the difference in September and October? It's defensive pressure and the performance of the defense as a whole. You're exactly right. That is one of the biggest differences uh, of where we were to where we are now is just not getting enough pressure up front. And when you start to play good caliber quarterbacks like you did last week against Matt Corral, um, somebody who I believe will be in New York for the Heisman uh, trophy ceremony, and then a decent to good Bo Nix, who who ultimately probably had the game of, of his season, if, if not his career today. That's because he had so much time back there. He had so mm-hmm. he, he didn't have to really worry a, about anything. And, and ultimately, when we talk about pressure, not only are you, are you getting banged up as the se- as the season goes on, you know, maybe not major injuries, but bumps and bruises do happen to every single player. You know, now. Six games in, or seven games into this in, into this college football season, people are going to get banged up. And another factor of the matter is, you, <clears throat> your opponents now have tape on you. They have time yep, to they scheme you for you. They Absolutely. they figured you out. And that's where this is where coaching really comes into play because you 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 like what you've done, right? You you like the positive, but you know that they're going to work, do everything they possibly can to keep you from doing what you've done positively. So you you have to kind of walk that tightrope of keep what we've done, bring in new things, and kind of try to mix it in because, you know, it's really hard to mix in a new system in in the middle of October. So you've got to try to find that perfect balance of of old and new. Yeah. All right, can we stop with the text telling us to take – 
Arkansas Pine Bluff more serious. Folks, they're one and five on the year. All right. <laughs> Their only win is over Lane. They've lost to UCA, Alcorn State. They lost to Prairie View. Didn't Prairie View have like the longest losing streak in football? You know, a handful of years ago, they lost. To, they they've lost to Alabama State, and today they lose to Southern U, thirty-four to seven. Just stop sending me text right now. Oh, you need to take Arkansas Pine Bluff serious next week. Just go see what's happened to Florida State. You know, <laughs> stop it. They're one and five. Oh, that that is great. I was about to say you're Dustin a top Manfield. twenty program. Act like it. Well, you may not be tomorrow <laughs> well, afternoon, but you've been a top twenty team. Act like it. <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't They're be one losing. one in five. Oh. Be be in Clarksville, <laughs> Texas, and Texters are drunk and high. <laughs> we're, we're thinking that uh, UAPB can really compete. And <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, look past many lightly. But I'm going to mm-hmm. look past UAPB a little bit. They're one in five, and they've uh, some some team. You know, when you go to the schedule, you can always click on one team or the other, and mm-hmm. uh, you can't even click on someone called Lane. Well, they're the Lane Dragons. So. Uh, <laughs> So I, I'm, that's the only na- the only uh, team they have beaten at this point. So I, I'm going to go ahead and say that you've got to basically have a, a two-week buy here. Now, could Arkansas be sluggish? Maybe they start out slow. Yeah, but I uh, Arkansas, I don't even know if they'll have a line on this thing. I mean, Arkansas is going to be – well, they'll have mm-hmm. one. But, I mean, somewhere there will be one. Well, they Ar- might. They might not. 30, Most of the, it's the an FCS Vegas place, right. they don't. Do but it. offshore, you'll find somebody to put a – put a put a a betting line on it and it'll be 35 or 40 points so if not if not more drew yeah it so ultimately stop could sending be. text that oh you don't need to look past you apb or yes i'm looking well, past you i'm looking straight at mississippi state right now in about three weeks yes well ultimately you know we're going to get those texts and we're going to get those calls all week because everyone always seems to to feel like that and one thing that I've learned in my in my four to going on five months here in Arkansas is that a lot of people just feel like the worst possible outcome is always going to happen. I, and and I get it. I, I come from a fan you base know, that, that hey, feels Chad Morris the same isn't running way, this damn deal down here anymore. Exactly. Right? You got a real football coach. You got a real staff. You got people that are competent. You're and I don't tell me, Dustin. Don't tell me about Jack Crow and so, the Citadel. They're not good enough to beat the Citadel thirty years ago. All right. So just stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> I'm with you, Tommy. I'm with you. There's no need to take uh, – and, This and thing better no, not no be disrespect. close. Coach, don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what's close? What, what's close? Oh, Within 20? Oh, uh, yeah. Three three touchdowns is too close. But, I mean, that, listen. I mean, this should be a game next week where you get people healthy and, you know, maybe some guys go through the routine and play a series or two or three. Or, I don't know. There ought to be a plan to get a lot of the younger mm-hmm. players involved next week. Um, and I, I bet you there's going to be a handful of starters that are banged up, may not even, you know, they may make the trip and be on the sidelines with no no pads. On. I, I, I don't know how they'll handle this. They've got to win next week to get, you know, a game away from bowl eligibility. So it's it, this is a critical game from that standpoint. But, you know, mm-hmm. all, you know take UAPB serious. I ain't taking them seriously. Arkansas is an SEC team. You, you yes, get what I'm saying? It, it, We're an SEC just... team. We're playing big boy football around here. There's a reason the sl- the the slogan of the conference is it just means more because it truly does. A few more minutes here left on Hog Reaction. Did get a, kind of basically the same text out of two different numbers from the 479. Just want to touch on uh, real quick. What does the defense have to do? Uh, because I don't think the offense is the problem from one. And how do you get the – from the other, how do you get the defense from September to become the defense of November? And I think one, one way is trying to figure out um, – whether you're going to stick with a four or or three man front, and then that's going to create uh, different looks and how many different people you have dropping back. Yeah, let's squeeze one call in here before we go. Our old buddy Officer Breeden has dialed in. Officer Breeden, good to hear from you. Hey, good to hear you, Tommy. And, and Tommy, just just chill. If I need to bring you some of my blood pressure medicine, hey, I will. Hey, I'm just trying to, to deliver some common sense here. I mean, I'm getting loaded up with these texts about who uh, oh, you APB this and that. Stop it. Just stop it, you know. Well, Tommy, there's one thing I've learned about common sense over my years of experience. <laughs> not as com- most people don't have common. it. It's not as common <laughs> as it used to be, that's for sure. So, <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. So. Uh, speaking of the game today, since uh, you, you did put me on the air, let's talk about the defensive linemen. You know, we, we were strong, very strong, part of the first part of the season. It just doesn't seem like we have the same strength that we had 
earlier in the year. Don't I, know why. Maybe they're beat up. I, I don't, don't think we have as weak an opponent. I think that's the problem. It's not our strength. It's the other opponents that mm-hmm. gain strength. I think that's the problem. We stepped up. We have stepped up in class. I think that's uh, that, that, that's at the root of the issue right now. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've. Uh, We've turned it up a notch, and other people are taking us more serious. Hey, we got to run. Good to hear from you again. Come by and see us some morning. Uh, Officer Breeden, uh, uh, a blast from not not the too far past uh, here uh, with us that comes by on the morning show from time to time. But, Drew, I mean, I think a lot of people are just disappointed, frustrated, mm-hmm. but uh, I think we'll all be more optimistic when we regather and get back uh, get, get back after it next week. So. You're exactly right, Tommy. Yeah, just, Everybody just, just all take a deep catch breath. The punts. Exhale. Catch the punts. Catch punts. Realize that you've got two, basically two bye weeks. Get ready for your last four SEC games. Well, that will do it for Hog Reaction. For Tommy Kraft, I'm Drew Barrett. Go Hogs. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your land.